Hello everyone and welcome you in semester 4th lecture. Myself P.S. Patil working as assistant professor in KRT Art, BH Commerce and AM Science College, Nasik. Today I am going to discuss the subject that is CHA 491. I am going to teach you the section first from this subject. The name of this section is Chemical Methods of Pharmaceutical Analysis and I am going to start our first chapter. The name of that chapter is Pharmaceutical Doses Forms. We are going to start in the today's lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss what is capsules, creams, etc. So the content of the today's lecture is here. So the capsules types of capsule, advantages and disadvantages of capsule, shape of capsule, types of capsule, then after that we see the creams, types of creams, ideal properties of creams, such a parts we are going to discuss in the today's lecture. And this is the reference for the today's lecture, Indian Pharmacopoeia Volume 2nd, 7th edition. Okay. So we start with the first that is capsule. Capsules we know that tablet and capsule both are different. Tablets are solid form while the capsules are a gelatinous material enclosed a solid part that is nothing but the capsules. Capsules are the solid doses form in which the drug substances is enclosed within either hard or soft soluble shale usually formed from gelatin means a gelatinous shale is there and in that a solid material is present that is nothing but the capsule the term capsule is derived from the latin word capsula the meaning is a small container that small container contain medicament okay the medication may be a powder a liquid or a semi-solid mass means that gelatinous uh, shell it may contain either powder form means it is in the form of solid or it may be in the form of liquid or may be in the form of semi-solid okay the capsules are usually intended to be administrated orally by swallowing them whole occasionally capsules may be administrated rectally or vaginally means how we take the capsule it is given in the last point okay so this is about the capsule you have to remember that capsules are a gelatinous shell which enclose a solid material that is nothing but the capsule okay what are the advantages of the capsule capsules are tasteless orderless and can be easily administrated okay combination of powder we can use means capsule may contain the combination of powder it never contain a single powder we know that in the tablet part some active ingredients are there and remaining part it is a inactive part which only binds that tablet same way here that shell it is filled with a solid powder but out of that powder some powder it is active acts as an active ingredient while remaining it is only used for the binding okay so in that the combination of powders can be used there are attractive in appearance okay then the drugs having unpleasant odor and taste are enclosed in the testlet shape. They can be filled quickly and conveniently. Physician can change the dose and combination of drug according to the patient requirement. They are economical and they are easy to handle and carry. So these are the advantages of the capsules. Then every case has 
advantages and disadvantages so here the disadvantages of capsules are hygroscopic drugs are not suitable for filling into the capsule because they absorb the water which is present in that capsule shell make the shell very brittle and ultimately lead to the crumbling into the pieces means it may be crumble break the concentrated solution which required a previous dilution are suitable for the capsule because if administered as such lead to the irritation into the stomach okay so these are the two disadvantages of capsules then these capsules are available in different shapes here the shapes are given so the largest size is this it is denoted by the number 000 and the smaller size number it is denoted by number 5 the standard shape of the capsule is traditional symmetrical and bullet shape means these are the standard shapes okay so in the variety of shape these capsules are available then we see the types of capsule there are total four types of capsule but here the two main types are there hard gelatin capsules and soft gelatin capsule here the figures are also there so we can easily distinguish which one is the hard gelatin capsule and which one is the soft gelatin capsule so uh, whatever uh, capsules we are going to take they are like this most of the time we take the capsules like this okay so these are the hard gelatin capsules while this soft gelatin capsules are so, here the outer coating it is a very soft and it contain a liquid or liquid medicament in inside okay here in while in the hard gelatin capsule a solid powder the mixture of solid powder it is present so the nature it is hard gelatin while here the liquid material or liquid uh, medicament is inside in Uh, that's why the nature it is a soft gelatin capsule okay so it is very simple then we see what are the hard gelatin capsule student the hard gelatin capsule consists of a two pieces we know that in the previous case we also uh, see the figure this one it has two pieces the first part it is called cap the smallest part it is called cap and the longest part it is called body this cap it is fit into the body so here this gelatin capsule consists of a two pieces in the form of a cylinder close at one end the shorter piece it is called cap and this cap it is fit over the open end of the longer piece that is called body means this cap it is fit into the body the hard gelatin capsules are also known as a dry filled capsule or two pieces piece capsules the drug substances placed in the body and the caps are sealed over it hence enclosing the drug substances okay how they get packed it is given in the last point okay so this is nothing but the hard gelatin capsule then what is the soft gelatin capsule this soft gelatin capsules are one piece while in hard gelatin capsule there are two pieces cap and body while in this the only one piece is there hermetically sealed means completely closed okay soft gelatin shell containing a liquid or suspension or semi solid while in the hard gelatin capsule we use a mixture of solid okay while in the gelatin capsule we only use the liquid suspension or semi solid material this soft gelatin is mainly composed of gelatin plasticizer preservatives coloring and 
flavoring agent and sugars okay then advantages of this soft gelatin capsule easy to administer easy to manufacture liquid can be encapsulated means non water soluble small to large size they are available then portability ready to availability of drug hence faster action order and test masking a specialized doses form can be made can be used for the ophthalmic preparation ophthalmic preparation means a sensitive portion we apply this soft gelatin capsule then we discuss the types of capsule there are four types so two main types are hard and soft gelatin capsule the another types of this capsules are modified release capsule and enteric capsules this modified release capsules are sustained release capsule these capsules are hard or soft capsule in which the content or a shell or both contain auxiliary substances or are prepared by a special process designed to modify the rate at which the active ingredients are released okay means a uh, modified release uh, capsules are either uh, in hard or soft capsule and the active ingredients it can easily released into the body okay entering capsule they are gastro resistant capsule entering capsules are hard or soft capsule prepared in such a manner that the shell resists the action of gastric fluid but is attacked by the intestinal fluid to release the content means what means whatever gastric fluid mean in our stomach a gastric juice are produced so this gastric juice do not affect on that capsule shell okay but the attack by intestinal fluid means intestinal intestinal fluid on attack it release the content which is present in that capsule okay so that is called enteric capsule so these are two another types of capsules then with this slide we complete the capsule so student you have to remember what we have uh, discussed in the in this slide of capsules then types of capsule there are total four types hard gelatin capsule soft gelatin capsule modified release capsule and enteric capsule and advantages and disadvantages of capsule so you have to remember this part then we start our second point from this lecture uh, creams creams are we are very familiar to this term that is creams in day to day life we use the creams right different creams we used so we start what are they creams are homogeneous semi solid or viscous preparation that possess a relatively fluid consistency and are intended for the external application to the skin or certain mucous membrane for protective and theoretical theoretic purpose especially where an exclusive effect is not necessary means you have to remember these are applicable to the skin external okay and it is a homogeneous or semi solid or viscous preparation its fluid consistency it is relatively relatively in fluid consistency and they are external application to the skin these creams are having four type the first one is oil in water cream second is water in oil cream third one is cosmetic creams and medicated creams so out of these four types these two types third and fourth cosmetic creams and medicated creams we are very familiar to this types of cream cosmetic creams means in day to day life we use such a types of cream day cream night cream sunscreen um okay such a types of creams are cold cream 
are cosmetic creams but medicated creams are nothing but uh, if any skin problem is there and doctor suggested such a types of cream that are the medicated creams okay the creams which are applied on a skin problem that creams are medicated creams so these two are very familiar only the first two oil in water and water in oil uh, we discuss in the next slide student the first is oil in water creams in that the two phases are there the first one is dispersed phase and second one is a continuous phase so when we uh, see the oil in water cream in that the dispersed phase is oil and continuous phase is water they are less greasy and more easily washed off using a cutter means the nature of that cream it is a less greasy so it can easily wash by using water the example it is given here uh, acetone oil creams then the second is water in oil cream again here the exact opposite situation is there the dispersed phase is water and continuous phase is oil it is more difficult to handle hydrophobic and will be released more readily from a water in oil cream than oil in water cream means it easily released as compared to the oil in water cream so moisturizing cream and cold cream are the example of this oil in water cream okay it is very simple cosmetic creams these creams are highly used in variety of skin condition vanishing cream foundation cream night cream skin protective cream hand cream okay such a types of creams are included in cosmetic creams medicated creams a uh, creams is a semi solid emulsion containing suspended or dissolved medication so in that the antibiotic creams antifungal cream zinc oxide cream such a cream are apply on the uh, disease portion which is present on the skin it get release okay then we see the properties of the cream what are the properties of this ideal cream it is easy to apply spread easily on the skin then it has a pleasant appearance and pleasant smell also less irritation to the skin melt or liquefy when applied on to the skin so these are the ideal properties of cream so with this we complete the uh, today's lecture in this lecture uh, we have seen the capsules types of capsule advantages of capsule then the next part is creams what is creams types of creams and ideal properties of creams such a points we have seen in the today's lecture in the next lecture we will discuss the eye drop and ear drop this part we will discuss in the next lecture thank you